Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just doing the first of the mail openings that I mentioned in my recent pickup videos. The first in a series that I'm calling Mail Rush 2. And I'm also retrospectively dubbing last year's iteration of the same thing, Mail Rush 1. We seem to have gotten to that same part of the year where all of a sudden I can actually win things on eBay for a reasonable price and then get them to sell on, which works for me because I'm wanting to take reselling a little bit more seriously at the moment. And on that note, I've set up a page for selling figures. It's called Disaster Figs and the link will be in the, um, in the description below. And if you could leave a like on that, I would absolutely appreciate any love, even if you're not interested in buying anything yourself. So first of all, I've got a small bundle of two figures I managed to pick up. And I decided to do this bundle next because it was the first one I bought, even if it wasn't the first one that arrived. But it's also not that interesting. I bought this one earlier on in the previous week where I was kind of like, just I just wanted to get something to sell stuff so it's not the best deal it's not the best figures in the world but i thought we'd get this done before we then get into the better mail and the better deals and then i'm also going to do this amazon one with the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff i mentioned in that pickups video because i want to get that open as well so we're going to start with this 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 little bundle this is two figures i bought individually as it turns out the seller didn't offer combined postage. I've not encountered that in the last 20 years. So that kind of ruined it for one of them because one of the figures, one of them was still very much worth getting, but this one was not. It just wasn't a great deal. So first of all, we've got this classic superstars, Davy Boy Smith. Wow, the joints are actually pretty good. I mean, it's you've still got that thing like with Jack's figures where you can tell that even though the arm is in good condition, like that would, that arm will become loose kind of thing. But yeah, very dusty, very good condition. Not massively fond of the head there. There is a likeness of Davy Boy, but he's a bit too gummy, you know. So I think this British Bulldog, I want to say that this was only £4, uh, which still sounds like a great deal, but you actually can't get an awful lot for this figure. I think you can get about a tenner for it. So as much as we can still make money, especially since, you know, it came with the belt, which is nice. I definitely wouldn't have bought it if I didn't think I was getting it combined with the other figure, because £4 into 10 it's not really worth bothering with, you know? That being said, we can make money on it, so, you know, it could be worth. This other one is a lot better, though. The When I checked, there weren't any of these listed, and it's the classic superstars Shawn Michaels. Now, I know that a friend of mine, who got me into figures back in the day, lives around the corner, has one of these. Uh, he got one of these when I got him back into figures. It's a really, really cool figure for a Jax figure, really. But there was none of these listed on eBay, I don't think, when I looked. So I'm expecting, you know, maybe 15, 20 for this, especially with like the full gear, it's in really good condition and everything. So if you look at them both all in for like a tenner, it's not bad. But I definitely just would have not bothered with the British Bulldog. You know, if I was getting it as a pound throw in along with the Shawn Michaels, then that's excellent. But for £4 on top, it's not quite the same. But yeah, a really, really nice figure. And we've got the the chaps don't really work with the uh, the belt there, do they? Like, it's kind of just... Uh, maybe you should uh, put it a bit wider over the top. I don't know. But yeah, a really nice figure. And like I say, we got that one for £6. So £10 for the pair of them. Not bad. We can get £10 back for the Bulldog. Who knows what we can get for the Shawn Michaels. I look forward to finding out. And now we'll just quickly do this Amazon parcel. In many ways, this didn't really need doing on a mail opening at all. But in the spirit of the reselling, I wanted to get some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I can try and sell on. You know, dip my toe in that as well. And uh, they had these three-pack rarity collection, what you call them, tuck boxes, on amazon for 12 pound so that brought them down to the price of regular packs as opposed to premium packs so i bought five of them nice straight 60 pound investment we get premium rarity stuff in these theoretically speaking we should get like one or two cars that will pay for the lot and then be able to sell the rest on 15 packs not fixed to box rarities these boxes are a little bit dinged up but yeah we'll do a video opening them very very soon and then we'll get those listed uh, so that'll be really cool. Just wanted to get those opened uh, in this one as well so we can get all that done. And next up, we have the bundle of figures. I can't clearly remember what is in this. I know I got a decent deal on them. 
but it's just not it's not the most exciting bundle in the world and i definitely didn't get the best deal on it either i'll put the amount of figures in this bundle and the price of the bundle up for you guys so you can see how much it was can't say i remember off the top of my head i can't even remember what's in this but i think there's some interesting bits are, are worth selling on but like i say this one is probably the weakest one i've got so far because it is it was a case of me just wanting to try and win something and we did but i can't remember what is in here of any real consequence apart from one of the members of the spirit squad the one i don't have i know that he's in here but it's in really bad condition but it brings us home for this mail opening video it's uh, it's content and then we'll get started with some more exciting stuff in mail rush part two you know then i can start filming the other mail rush videos after this it's typical this is the same day come on now this is the same day as when i did that pickups video as i mentioned in the pickups video but it's much later on because i've had a headache all day as per me having stuff to do so that's kind of mid and what is even more mid is these fake bone cruncher triple h with a broken arm i cannot think of much existing on this planet that is worth less than one of these shitty knockoff bone crunches with no arm good god we've got the standard eddie guerrero that comes with every triple h not like i don't even know what you call these just crap bone crunches triple h and eddie guerrero seem to come together for some reason we have got a jack's pacific edge not bad not not super exciting just it is what it is oh we have another of these uh of these dodgy oh no yep i remember this this is a fake bone crunchy jericho with no head and don't worry i did not factor that in to the price of this bundle uh we got a jack's booker t not a bad one actually it's a little bit different it's not in the best of conditions bit of paint wear on the uh on the trunks there oh we got a Rey mysterio no head i don't remember seeing that in the bundle maybe it was maybe not Christ, this sun's not good, is it? We've got a Chavo Guerrero with a chewed up face. If I had a pound, it's funny, I already have one of these Chavos and his boots are all like broken up. But if I had a pound for every figure I'd received over the years, which had been chewed on, this one looked like maybe it was more of a dog than a child, but I know it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I probably do have that because I just chuck them in uh, fodder bundles and get the money. We've got the young Randy Orton that looked nothing like him with blood stains on the eyes. Might be able to get that off. We've got the Spirit Squad Johnny. Not a bad figure for customs, I don't think. You know, Nick Mondo head, I think it's pretty good for. I think I was going to use it for a Robbie E at one point, you know, in during the Bromance gimmick. We've got a Stephen Richards. Should sell, surely. You know, it's obscure enough to sell. Nice gear, the pink and white. A bit unconventional. This bundle sucks. Oh, there's the Chris Jericho's ripped off head. We've got a Christian. That looks more like a Matt Hardy. Is this, a, is this being head swapped or something? You know, that looks more like a Matt Hardy body than a Christian body. But, you know, it's a bit different. It is Christian. The joints are actually in good condition. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, not sure about that one. The Rey Mysterio head. It's kind of getting the vibe that that is broken off in the box and i probably would be complaining about that we've got chris masters jack pacific oh this one was barely worth even filming we got a uh, ted dibiase less said the better at the moment we got this chris jericho now i don't mind these oh god these white shirt black trousered jericho's and deuce and domino and stuff because i could i could see myself doing a gimmick in trash bed or something of people wearing these this kind of gear but yeah it is basically valueless we do have a few interesting ones to finish off here we got a jack specific united states title it's a little bit worn but the at least the uh, buckle isn't broken so that's cool we've got the is it mitch yeah it's mitch uh just incredibly poor condition waist joint is hysterically bad there 
yeah but we do have some gems as i said some cool ones at the end so first of all hardcore holly we should at least be able to sell that i would imagine i absolutely loved this when i was a kid this figure purely because of the, the purple and yellow you know i thought it was a really nice gear so yeah we should definitely at least be able to sell that uh, we got a billy kidman oh his hair's his hair's broken off that's a shame and his waist joint is really loose Oh god, I hope I got a good deal on this bundle because these are just figures that are going to be waiting around. Except for this one, this looks okay-ish. Although it's more worn than I maybe would have wanted. It's a classic superstars Terry Funk. You know, it's got a lot of paint wear on the hair and face there. That arm is definitely loose, but you know, probably should still be worth a couple of quid. And that's basically what we were going for, the Terry Funk, the Billy Kidman, the Hardcore Holly. And like I say, just to, to get something to sell. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's gone particularly well. I don't even think that was really worth doing a video on. But it's done now. Get these listed for whatever we can get them listed for. Hopefully uh, get some of the money back and not have them hang around for too long. Hopefully I've got a good deal on this one. But yeah, this is uh, the second bundle I've managed to pick up in this current mail rush. There's some, a lot better stuff in this one than the previous one, so I'm just going to get into this and uh, we'll, we'll see what we've got. A lot of this tape seems to already be coming off, so we'll just uh, we'll cut along there. It might be a little bit easier to get into than some of the parcels we've had on here over the years. You know, I did uh, I did that pickups video with the desk camera uh, earlier on today, and that just immediately made me realise that I sh not only should have done that in this format, but that I was definitely doing these mail openings in this format as well and probably sticking with it going forward you know don't mess with the formula don't mess with what works there's nothing wrong with this and it's just easier than setting up the table and getting everything going it's such a pain in the ass as it turns out you know i thought it was going to make life easier but actually it's just such a pain and it doesn't get much easier than just opening a parcel most of the time and just showing it to you guys here so in this one what is this right okay let's flash back a year ago to when i to when i did the original mail brush and one of the videos i the, the tagline was stickiness intensifies and that was mostly focusing on a hacksaw jim duggan classic superstars figure that was really sticky and like had like dust and stuff on it open this one Look at the state of this Hacksaw Jim Duggan. It's actually not showing up too bad on camera. Maybe it's with the focus and everything, but God, wait till the fig bath video. But after that's been through the fig bath, like the last Hacksaw Jim Duggan, that should be worth a tenner. So that's not too bad. Uh, we've got a fig bath needing John Cena. That's quite a nice figure really, isn't it? For the uh for the time the joints seem okay there oh god oh the need to fig bath this classic superstars dusty roads maybe this is why i've been winning these bundles because the last one was crap and these were actually filthy but i just couldn't see it but look at the hair on that dusty roads that's appalling but again once it's been through the fig bath that should be another tenor damn like i <sighs> When he just got rid of my my fig bath backlog. <sighs> now it restarts again. Uh, this is a really cool one. We've got a classic superstars godfather. Now, I already have one of these from a bundle a few years ago uh, that still hasn't sold, although it did take me quite a while to get that listed. I think I only listed it last year. Still waiting to find a price on that that someone's willing to pay, but uh, it should be decent. should be at least a tenner, so that's nice. We got a suitless version of that Eddie Guerrero that I got and fell in love with on last year's Mail Rush. You know, uh, we got no jacket on that, but we've got some 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 packing bubbles that were literally just wrapped around this deluxe aggression Carlito. Uh, but that should be okay once that has also been through the fig bath. There, these these are filthy. You know that should definitely sell at some point. So that is really cool. We got a Ric Flair. Again, no suit jacket. Just kind of feels a bit manky as well. We have got, to finish this off, three TNA figures. 
So first of all, let's go with the one that needs cleaning the most by the looks of it. We got a Bobby Roode. Those legs are filthy. Pretty cool. If the scale was better, then I might check the joints. Uh, I mean, Bobby Roode has elites, so unfortunately we don't really need these. But, uh, you know, if these were James Storms, this would be another question. But we should be able to get a tenner for this guy. And we should also be able to get a tenner for this other Bobby Roode, which is much cleaner than the previous one. So, yeah, there should be about 20 quid in just those two figures. And possibly more than that. For the final figure, which I will probably hold on to for the time being, just because, you know, I like to keep hold of my niche figures in case I ever want to feature them in the Fed, and that is this TNA Toy Biz Matt Bentley figure. Nice and obscure. I figure I can get at least... I figure I can get at least 10, 15 for this as well. We got a really good deal on these, even if they do need a bit of a clean. You know me, all jokes aside, I don't mind giving them a wash. If that's what I have to do to get the money out of them. There'll be another Mail Rush video relatively soon. So please do check that out. It'll be in the end screen when that's available. And if not, it'll, there'll be a different Mail Opening in the end screen. As well as the Mail Opening playlist. So I'd love it if you checked those out if you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And goodbye. But at least, uh, you know... <sighs> That one's on me because uh, my dad's going to work. So really, I should have planned for, should have planned for that. Should have planned for Willow to kick off when he walked out the door. But uh, never mind. That one's on me. I shut up, Willow. It's not that deep, Will's.